This is a tutorial for Dex Science Set 5.3. Hello and welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be another exciting activity on energy. In particular, we're going to look at electrical energy. We're going to learn how to build a very interesting circuit that goes to show us how the technology in the device you are probably watching this video on actually works. And so we're going to be using components from the compartment B5.4.2.1. The only extra thing that you may need to do this activity is a pair of batteries. So we have our two AA batteries here and then we have these materials that we can find in the set. So we're just going to go ahead and open that. So you find that the components are stuck on the piece of paper here. So we're just going to go ahead and remove them. We have some more tape here, so let me just go ahead and remove that. Okay, so we have some wires here. Okay, good. So these are the components that we are going to be using to build our sample circuit. So this activity is really simple, but it shows a very fundamental um, technology. Now we have here a light emitting diode, which we've seen in previous videos in our activities in the science set 4.3. We saw this simple electrical circuit with the LED. So this LED is essentially three LEDs in one. So this LED is essentially three LEDs in one. Okay? Or you see the three LEDs here, all pointed in the same direction. And then there's one terminal going out here and one terminal going out here. Connecting all the three LEDs inside here in parallel. Okay? And so we can turn each of them on or off using our switch. So that is the LED. Now this LED has in the red, blue, and green okay it has green in there it has red in there it has blue so that's what we have to call rgb red green and blue so the screen you are watching this on actually has tiny 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 bulbs like these in there and they can turn red green or blue and then they can give you any color that you want and together the millions of tiny bulbs can form a picture okay so we're going to see how that works now to help us turn our leds on and off we have three switches just like we had the three leds we have three switches that we can use to switch any of the three LEDs that we have on or off okay we also have we have three resistors each one connecting to one of the LEDs let's not forget in the previous circuit that we built we use a resistor to protect our LED from higher current okay so we have three resistors each one connecting to one of the LEDs okay and then of course we have our wires that we are going to use to connect all of our leds and resistors and our switches okay we also have the female to female type and then we have the male to male type here now it's possible that your switches or resistors might come with already existing male headers in which case you can connect them directly but if they don't then you need these wires okay so now let's go ahead and build our simple circuit now like we learned in the previous video 
the first thing we need to do is to get our power source okay and of course we have these two double a batteries here that we are going to use okay so you take the battery we have the negative and the positive and so we're going to place that in here like that making sure that the positive is connected to the red and the negative is connected to the black okay like that and we do the same thing for the other battery holder as well put it in there okay very simple now the first step in this circuit we are going to connect the positive end of one of the batteries to the negative end of the other to create a series connection we want to add the voltage of this battery to the voltage of this one okay so just like we saw in the previous video we have the male wire and then we have the female wire okay the dupont cables and so you simply connect them this way okay so we connected the positive end of one of the batteries to the negative end of the other So now that we have our battery here, the next thing you're going to do, we're going to connect our LED, okay? So in the LED, don't forget, we have the positive side and then the negative side, okay? Positive and negative. So the negative side, we can connect here to the black wire, okay? Put that here. The next thing we're going to do is to connect our resistors. Okay, so that you can see there are three headers here and then three here. And so you connect one wire from each header to the other, just like that, okay? So we're going to go and take our little wires. You take three of them. You can keep them together or you can separate them. It doesn't really matter, okay? I'm going to keep them together so it looks nice and neat. And so I'm going to connect one here two here and then the third one here okay and then when I come here I have the orange I have the yellow and I have the green and so I line them up just like this and then I connect them to the LED like this okay good so I have all my resistors here connected to the separate LEDs here okay and of course the next thing we are going to connect will be our switches so one thing to note about the switches is that it has one side having two headers and then the other side having three headers and so you place it such that the part that has three headers comes to face the resistors okay so that you can connect your wires each part of this header goes to one part of that and so you have another set of three wires i'm going to disconnect this one so i have black brown and red okay so i'm going to line them up nicely and then connect them to my switch okay line them up nicely here black brown and red and then connect them to the resistors okay so I have my LED my resistor and then my switch okay now the final connection as you can see here is the positive side of the battery it's red but it's a female okay connected here so I'm going to take one of the male wires it's also female on this side so once I have a male wire I can connect here and then I can connect the other one also over here Okay, so now I'm done with my circuit. Complete, all connected together. Okay, nothing is happening. Why, of course, because all of our switches are turned off. It's possible that once you are done building your circuit, all the switches might be on and your LED might come on. But if it's not on, don't worry. It probably means that your switches are off. If it's on and it's a different color, just make sure you can turn it off by turning all the switches until you see that the LED is completely off just like this, okay? In, in case you're done building your circuits and your LED turns on, 
it just means that your switches are on if it's not on it means your switches are off okay so now that we have our circuit complete let's go ahead and turn the switches on one after the other okay so if i turn this first switch on our led comes on but it's red let me go ahead and turn that off so i turn it back off okay now i'm going to turn the second switch on turn it on the led is on and now it's green let me go ahead and turn that off let me turn this third switch on the led is on again now it's blue so this same led can turn different colors now let me turn that off again so let's assume that i want yellow i do not have yellow amongst the colors that came but i know from the signs that we learned in mixture of light we learned that when you mix red and green you get yellow and so and so if i turn my red light led on so that's the switch that's the first switch here that's what gives me red and then the one that gives me green is this one if i turn that one so on voila it turns yellow okay i get yellow light very nice so any color that i want all i need to do is to turn a series of switches on and it can give me any color that i want so for instance if i go red and blue what color do i get violet okay very very nice so any color that i want i can mix it okay so i can get yellow if i turn on red and green i get yellow i can get green i can get violet and get blue so any color that i want i just need to turn a series of leds on what will happen if i turn all of the leds on at the same time when i mix red green and blue light what do i get let's go ahead and do it so i turn on the red i turn on the green it turns yellow and when i turn on the blue it turns white i get white light right and so now isn't this exciting and what is even more interesting is that the screen that you are watching this video on probably works using this exact same principle there are tiny bulbs just like the one we have in this circuit millions of them on your screen and then there's a simple circuit like this in your device that is connected to the battery in your device and this simple circuit turns all of these tiny leds on and off creating different colors to draw the image that you are seeing now so by turning the different switches on and off the circuits in your device is able to draw a particular image just by simply turning the leds on and off this is the essence of science and technology the application of the simple things that we do in creating fantastic things like the screen that you are watching this video on i hope you are encouraged to learn more science and try and apply your science in creating very interesting devices in the not too distant future this has been another exciting tutorial using the dex science set 5.3